I'm Martha Drayton from Whole Foods Market. Today we're going to make one of my favorite dishes and that's a root vegetable gratin. We're going to use three root vegetables. A sweet potato, a Yukon gold potato, and a celery root. Celery root is a vegetable that is not related to the celery that we put peanut butter and raisins on, but is a root vegetable that grows underground and is at its peak in November, December, and January. You'll often find it in Europe on menus paired with apples. First off, we're going to just go ahead and peel the sweet potato. When peeling vegetables, it's important that you don't peel your fingers. I like to hold my vegetables point down and then peel away from me, keeping my fingers safe and tucked out of the way. They're a great way to add a boost of nutrition to your diet. Done. The potato, I'm just going to leave alone. The skin itself has is also packed with nutrition. Now the celery root needs a little work. I'm not going to try to peel this knobby, fuzzy end. I'm just going to cut it off. Celery root has a neat, nutty and sweet flavor that is completely different from a potato. It doesn't taste starchy and is very creamy textured when cooked. So we now have our three vegetables that we're going to use. The potato, the sweet potato, and the celery root. I'm going to slice these using a mandolin. Mandolins sometimes are scary to people because they've heard stories of how you can cut yourself. But if you use it wisely and appropriately, with a reasonable amount of care, you'll end up with very uniform slices in a very short period of time. I use my mandolin at home all the time. With this dial, I'm going to adjust the thickness. I'm going to hold my potato with my fingers bunched up towards the end, away from the cutting blade. I'm adjusting the setting here to get the potato to be the slice, the thickness I want. I'm going to move on to the celery root now. When doing some mandolin, it's important to go from top to bottom with one smooth stroke. Now for the sweet potato. Okay. We have here a pile of root vegetables that are ready. Add some of these slices to the bowl, and now we're ready to form the basis of our gratin. I'm going to season it well with kosher salt. These are root vegetables, and they will absorb a great deal of salt while cooking. I'm going to add one cup of vegetable stock, and I'm going to add some fresh thyme. Thyme has, is a woody, aromatic herb, and it has a sorts of woodsy, lemony flavor to it that is absolutely wonderful with most fall dishes. I'm going to toss this slightly with my hands to incorporate the salt and the thyme evenly throughout the, the potato, sweet potato, celery root mixture. And then I'm going to add it to our gratin dish. This one is quick and easy. To that I'm going to add some heavy cream. Essentially when we cook the gratin in the oven it's going to poach these potatoes sweet potatoes and celery root in the cream. The potatoes are going to release a great deal of starch and it's going to sort of meld together in this delicious root vegetable like cake. I know some people may be concerned about the amount of heavy cream in this dish. One, we need to keep in mind that this is a very large quantity. This easily serves, I would say, 12 people. Also, this is a celebratory dish and for certain holidays and certain times I feel nothing can really replicate the flavor of cream. If you were to use milk in this dish the milk would separate out and curdle and would be really unsatisfying. And now this is ready for the oven. It's been 55 minutes and it's in a 450 degree oven. This gratin is ready to come out. It's golden, it's bubbly, and utterly delicious looking. Root 
vegetable gratins are wonderful with roast turkey, with roast chicken, uh, with ham, many of the holiday favorites. And is actually a wonderful, luxurious dish to give your vegetarian guests. I like a little pinch of salt. Mmm. This is wonderful. It's sweet, creamy, and nutty, and would grace any table at a festive occasion. I'm Martha Drayton from Whole Foods Market for Houdini.com.